I want to give you a live look around southern Colorado where we are continuing to see snow again. Taking a look from I-25 in Fillmore, enough snow has covered the parking lot there at American Furniture Warehouse. We have snow also falling in Motor City in Colorado Springs. It has dropped as far south as found, and this band of snow is going to continue dropping toward the south. When all is said and done, we are going to see nowhere near the amounts that we had earlier this week. But if you park your car outside tomorrow morning, give yourself some time to scrape off the snow. Could end up with about one to three inches around the Pikes Peak region. Lower elevations, a trace to an inch at best. Southern I-25. Also looking for the potential for one to three inches of snow. Here is how everything is going to play out. Skycast is showing this very well-defined band that's moving over the Pikes Peak region right now, continuing to drop toward the south as we head toward midnight. The heaviest snow. It's going to move out of Colorado Springs, impacting southern El Paso County and moving into the Pueblo area. Heading into early tomorrow morning, it's going to drop further toward the south. By 3 a.m., notice how you don't see any more of those areas of dark blue. It's because this band is going to lose a bit of its steam as it pushes off toward the south. Becomes a bit spottier by 3 a.m. And as we head even earlier, or more so into your Friday morning, here's a look at 8 o'clock. The showers will begin to break up just a bit. Notice by 8 o'clock, everything comes to an end around Colorado Springs and the skies begin to clear. So even though we will have some fresh snow on the ground, I don't expect that you will have a terrible morning drive. But again, give yourself a couple extra minutes because I do anticipate a few icy patches. By lunchtime, most everything comes to an end. The sunshine returns in southern Colorado, helps to melt whatever little snow actually ends up accumulating tonight. High temperatures tomorrow, only getting into the 30s, so another cool day here in southern Colorado. But as we head into the weekend, back to 46 degrees on Saturday. Another cold front moves through, not bringing any snow this time, but it will drop temperatures on Sunday to 39 degrees. And then 40s and 50s as we head through the work week next week. Pueblo 38 tomorrow, 49 on Saturday, 43 then on Sunday. We'll keep it dry around Pueblo as we take you into next week. Also, check out Wednesday, getting to 61 degrees. Canyon City, 37 tomorrow. We had 48 on Saturday, 44 Sunday, 50s then 60s as we head into the middle to the end of the work week next week. Teller County, I expect most of the snow to wrap up by the time you are jumping in your cars and heading to work tomorrow, but a few snowflakes, not out of the question. 40 degrees and on Saturday, things really heat up, though, by the middle of next week. A fantastic forecast, if I do say so myself. And, of course, we do have that snow falling out there right now, so as you're waking up in the morning, the first thing you always do is reach for your phone. We'll make sure to reach for your phone. And turn on our Storm Tracker 13 weather app. The first thing that you see when you turn it on, Storm Tracker 13 Live yeah. HD Doppler radar, so you can track the snow right from the comfort of your own bed. Just search for Storm Tracker 13 weather and the App Store on your iPhone or your Android.